Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to continue the Trick or Treat Lane series reviews. And I don't have them all, unfortunately. And uh, so while I'm trying to work on getting them, I can't afford some of the earlier releases. So uh, last review, we looked at the Glares and Stairs house, which I believe was 2014. We're jumping now to 2016 and looking at the Halloween Party House. Um, it's a pretty cool trick-or-treat lane house, and we're going to take an in-close, in-depth uh, look at that right now. Okay, so as we always start the review, we look at the box. And again, this, uh, this house was released in 2016, and if you bought it brand new uh, at, at that time point, it would have set you back $130. Uh, it's part of the trick-or-treat lane series, as you can see there on the box. Now let's take a look at this house now. This house is a all porcelain house. It is absolutely beautifully done. It, there's no LEDs on the inside or anything like that. It's a simple uh, plug with a, uh, a bulb, a C7 bulb on the, uh, on the end of it that lights this up. Now the good part about that is you can go from white to orange, to yellow, to blue, to whatever color of bulb you want to put in there, you can change the, the light to, to suit your, your mood. I just left the white light in there, so I think it looks pretty good. So in this scene, the house is decorated to kind of celebrate the season and to celebrate Halloween evening. You've got a big mural or a big uh, sign in the front window that says Happy Halloween Party. You've got uh, a cool little candy dish out there that uh, obviously if they've gone out trick-or-treating or something like that and left the, you know, where they're not home, that it says, you know, take one please with a little, little uh, bowl of candy up there. There's some apples floating around for apple bobbing. And then there's a, a pin the bow tie on Mr. Bones, uh, kind of to resemble, you know, pin the tail on the donkey there, which is pretty... Pretty cool. So they're all about having fun, having some games. They've got some garland uh, with some silver balls kind of decorating the outside of their home. And then they got a big pumpkin witch sort of uh, pinata, it looks like, hanging from one of the trees. So they're all about having good times and having a Halloween party. And then the house itself is a nice quaint little house, a little two-story house with a couple little outcroppings there. Nice little front porch that comes off to the side. Got a couple of trees that come standard on this. And then the fall leaves on the house uh, are some of my favorite. They have done a really, really good job at painting those. They look amazing. You've got the same garland and the same silver balls outlining the outcroppings of the two upstairs windows. And then you've got more of the leaves on top of the house and on top of the eaves there and around the chimney. And so, uh, the foundation at the front of the house got more leaves, got the grass uh, and the, the texture there is painted really nice. And as we start to turn this house to, to kind of go around the, the right side of the house where the chimney is located, pretty cool. The, the ground continues nice and, and painted. You've got the chimney with an opening there to put in logs and you've got uh, logs or to clean it out or whatever that opening's for. And then you've got logs that are stacked up outside the chimney. And obviously fall is there because you've got the leaves uh, all lining that. And then you can see the paintwork and the brickwork up on the chimney all the way to the roof line there. It looks really, really good. I also like the red uh, on the house. It looks sort of faded in some areas and uh, just a really, really good paint job. Uh, by and large on this house. And then if we go to the back of the house, you can see still more fall foliage on top of the house. You can see the shingles on the roof are just normal black shingles with a, you know, a, a pipe, ventilation pipe coming out of the top of the roof. And then you've got a green back door and a couple of windows that are lit up in the back. And then you've got the foundation at the bottom, which is kind of cool. You can see uh, the brick, uh, the brickwork on the foundation at, at the bottom of the house. So, Really, really well done. A tremendous job uh, paint-wise on this piece. Um, and then as we turn around to this side of the house, you've got another tree behind the sign here. You've got more uh, of the leaves on the ground. You've got a big uh, kind of a bay window there and then an upstairs window 
uh, over top of that. And then again, you've got the, the cool looking red faded, uh, old school looking uh, red paint on the outside of this house. So, and again, you can see the foundation uh, on this side of the house as well with the brick. So really, really well done. A beautiful little home. You can see this uh, easily, I think, sitting on a street, uh, all decorated for Halloween and just uh, them having a really good time at this Halloween party house. So really good uh, uh, trick-or-treat lane house to have in your collection. I still believe that the, you can find these uh, readily available. I mean, I don't know uh, how available. I haven't looked in a while, but I don't think they're obsolete, uh, certainly at this point. Uh, and so if, uh, if this piques your interest and you'd like to start into the trick-or-treat lane, this is a good house uh, to start into if you can still find them. Well, hopefully that gives you a better look at the trick-or-treat lane, the party house, a tremendous house to add to your collection if, you, if you're collecting the trick-or-treat lane. And I think most that are into Halloween uh, and Apartment 56, you're going to love these homes if you don't have if you don't have many or you're just starting uh, into this type of collecting, uh, these are good homes to have because they're, they're so realistically done. The paint on them is really amazing. They're really well done homes. They hold their value. As a matter of fact, they increase in value. So as a collector, uh, that's always a good thing to, to purchase something that you know over time will likely increase in value. These are no exception to that. Uh, so once they, they retire them and then you can you only have to go to, you know, to the secondhand market in order to get them, the price obviously follows suit and they go uh, sometimes through the roof. To look at the skeleton house, uh, for example. Try to get the skeleton house uh, or the spider house is probably, and that was 2012. That was the first trick-or-treat lane in 2012. I've seen the spider house go in excess of $750 or more on you know eBay and offer up and Macar and it's just ridiculous. I can't even imagine unless that's the only piece you're needing to complete your collection. But my point is these usually increase in value. So get them while you can if you're into collecting these. And they look really cool, especially if you do the trick or treat lane, you put them side by side and and build the street. It just it's old school, it's nostalgic. It looks really really good. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and this review and if you have, make sure you click the like button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps the channel to grow. If you click the icon with a little bell, you'll get notified every time a new video comes out so you don't have to go searching. It comes right to you and you know. Uh, and it certainly helps the channel, and I appreciate you guys doing that. So until next time, take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you again real soon.